What if I told you that VO2 max is one of the best predictors for living past the age of 100? And what if I also told you that VO2 max is more important for you and your overall health than an organ that's functioning at 100%. Well, that's what today's video is all about. VO2 max is like a muscle that can be trained over time. It can help you improve overall levels of cardiovascular fitness to not only increase your longevity, but it can help increase the performance in other areas of your life as well. So this begs the question, what the heck is VO2 max? VO2 max is the maximal oxygen consumption over a period of time. It is the best measurement for overall levels of aerobic fitness, and it's measured in milliliters per kilogram per minute. Every single living cell in our body requires oxygen to function. Therefore, oxygen is very important in the human body and is carried all throughout the body via red blood cells. The more oxygen that our bodies can use and the more that this oxygen can be distributed to the specific tissues that need them while we're working out, the workouts will be easier and we can push our bodies harder and harder. VO2 max is essentially broken down into three major categories based on overall levels of aerobic fitness. Sedentary is about 27 for women and 30 for men. Active is about 35 for women and 45 for men. And very active is greater than 77 for women and greater than 85 for men. So why exactly is VO2 max such a big deal? Well, there was a study performed not too long ago that demonstrated the overall importance of VO2 max for living longer or increasing overall levels of longevity. The crux of the article demonstrated that those individuals with a terrible VO2 max, so somewhere in the sedentary lifestyle range, actually had a higher percentage chance of dying than individuals that had chronic kidney disease, meaning that their organs, their kidneys, were not actually working at the level that they're supposed to be working. Therefore, we can extrapolate from the study that a higher VO2 max actually decreases your overall risk of dying than an optimally functioning kidney. Now, there are some confounding variables to this, but it just highlights the importance of cardiovascular fitness, especially as we get older. So now that we know a little bit about VO2 max, how do we go about building a more robust system? VO2 max can be thought of as a pyramid. The key to building VO2 max is spending about 80% of your time or the largest base of the pyramid in zone two cardiovascular exercise. After working on the base in zone two cardio, you can then spend about 20% of your time working out the top of the pyramid, which is trying to increase your overall maximal performance and really jacking up the VO2 max. Zone two training is technically based off of your heart rate. And this is found by calculating your overall maximum heart rate and then taking about 60% of this value. There are calculators out there for you to do this, and I'll put a link to this calculator in the description below. But also a fun fact, the activity tracker on most Apple Watches and iPhones actually will give you an overall breakdown of your workouts based on your zone levels of training. So you want to spend about 45-ish minutes in that zone two level training three days per week. On that fourth day of training, you wanna push your VO2 max as high and as hard as you can by doing an activity that you can only do for about three to five minutes at a time and would take about three to five minutes to fully recover from. Conversely, you can do a HIT workout or high intensity interval training workout where you're doing something very strenuous for 30 seconds and resting for 30 seconds and repeating this process for about seven to 10 minutes total. So kind of summarizing all of this and bringing it all together, you want to spend three days per week, let's say Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday doing zone two training in whatever form you want. It could be running or walking quickly on an incline, swimming, cycling, whatever you feel like doing. And then on that fourth day, let's call it on Saturday, you will spend about 10-ish minutes 
doing something high intensity, getting your heart rate, maxing that out almost as high as you can go and resting appropriately. Doing this each week will help you increase your overall VO2 max and therefore increase your levels of longevity, but also just improve your overall health dramatically. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, everyone, I will see you all on the next one.